Hi everybody, welcome back to Maya Mondays. My name's Daryl O'Bear. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a new piece of hardware that I just got. So I've got an HP Z840 and I'm really excited about it. I've had the opportunity to work on these HP boxes a couple of times. At NAB I was on a Z840 and when I recorded the new feature videos for Maya 2016 up in Toronto, I also had the opportunity to work on this Z840 and it was just so killer. So I'm pretty psyched to have it. My old equipment that I had obviously was still pretty powerful, but this new 840 takes it to another level. So I'm gonna kind of pan over here and show you the before and after performance between my old workstation and my new workstation. And we're gonna be really tapping into the parallel rig evaluation mode that was introduced in Maya 2016 that gives it the ability to really hit all the threads on your machine, utilize all the CPU that you have, as well as all the GPU power that you have. And I'm gonna walk you through that really quickly. So I've got my monitor set up into a split screen here. I've got my HP system on the, on the left-hand side here, and I've got the, the older uh, workstation on the right-hand side. So the new HP is really cool. It's got, it's got um, 16 cores, so two um, Intel processors, two E5, two 667V3 processors, so their, their frequency rates are really high. They're running at 3.2 uh, gigahertz, and there's, there's basically 16 physical cores or 32 threads. And then my older workstation over here on the right, it was a pretty nice workstation. It was a 12 core machine, so 24 threads running at 2.8. So I've got a few more threads as well, some more frequency, and I'll show you the before and after performance. The video cards in both of these are NVIDIA Quadra K5200. So they're both really nice video cards. And so it's really a kind of one-to-one -one comparison, except for the fact that the HP just has more threads that are, that are more powerful as well as a slightly faster bus. So let's go ahead and check out what Maya looks like. So I'm running Maya to start off in the old way of evaluating. So this would be Maya 2015, the legacy dependency graph mode that wasn't able to utilize all the resources of a powerful workstation like this Z840. So if we look at that, it's around seven frames per second. So if we go over here and bring up our system preferences and we jump this guy into the DG evaluation mode, uh, from DG to parallel, Maya is now going to look at the dependency graph, figure out how to thread it, and also decide where it's gonna put certain operations. So when it's doing the threading process in 2016, we can dump certain things to the GPU, which basically will get rendered out onto that, you know, processed on that NVIDIA K5200. So we're gonna leave that GPU mode on. We'll save that guy out. So we went from seven frames per second all the way up to, it'll stabilize out here, you know, and kind of float around 81, 82 frames per second. So massive speed improvement. And if we go into our profiling tool, which is under the general editors here, and bring up the profiler, and we run a profile on this guy, we'll just hit record on this and say, yes, let's go ahead and do that. You can see, let's just grab a frame like that and frame it on that guy. You can see that, you know, all these threads now are significantly contributing to the overall evaluation of the process here. So all 32 cores are basically getting tagged. And then the little tail end bar here at the end, that's showing the viewport 2.0 draw. So you can see the advantage of having all of these cores and the fact that they're running at a nice fast frequency just gives me performance that's, that's blazingly fast. So if we jump over here to the older computer that I had, my, um, my 12 core machine, that's running at 2.8, you can see it's floating right around 62, 63 frames per second. So what we've got here is about a 40% speed improvement moving up to, um, to the current hardware. And uh, I can't tell you how excited I am. It's, it's built like a tank. It's got a really nice SSD drive in there, a couple SSD drives, that cool NVIDIA card, and you know it's nice to have a fresh install of Windows too, so it's all clean. So thanks for taking the time to check out Maya Mondays. Cheers, everybody.